Hi there! Today I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for the sun to come out, but it's not coming, so we're filming. Anyways, as some of you might know, I'm in my home time at the moment and I do have only three palettes with me, a neutral one and two green ones, and I'm sick and tired of nudes and greens. So we're going to try a technique today that I've seen a lot of makeup artists do. Not a lot. I've seen some makeup artists do. And I do have this liquid lipstick with me, this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. And we're going to use it as eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. Well, I'm going to have a dense brush on hand. I think this one? From Urban Decay. It's, the... it's just from a palette of theirs from the Naked range. I'm not sure which one, but any dense brush will do. I don't even know which side I'm going to use. Maybe this one. But I gotta be quick and blend this off before it has a chance to dry. <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna apply it like on the outer half of my eye. Okay, now blend it before it dries. The shade is really pretty though. Exactly what I needed because I want some other colors, not just browns and greens. And this is gorgeous. By the way, I'm wearing a dress that I wore when I was a bridesmaid <laughs> in the September. My life is a chaos right now. I'm bored of everything. I'm bored of my makeup. I'm bored of my clothes because obviously I have very little clothing with me, very little makeup. And uh, I'm bored of my perfumes as well because I do have only two perfumes with me and I... I'm obsessed with perfumes, I'm not sharing this very often here, but I am. <laughs> this blends beautifully. Okay. I don't know how it looks on camera, because the lighting is trash, the contrast is a little bit too big, I don't have enough light. But in real life, it blended like butter. This is gorgeous. I didn't even use an eyeshadow primer, but I'm expecting this to last, because obviously it's liquid lipstick and it dries matte. But this is gorgeous, I must do this more often. Let's do the lower lash line as well, I'm applying a tiny bit here. Hope it shows beautiful on camera, literally it looks so beautiful in real life. I need my ring light. <laughs> I cannot depend on the weather all of the time and it's been raining the entire day. I have no idea what shade to use on my lids, so I'm just going to use my highlighter, my e.l.f. Baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I'm gonna place it right here and kind of fade it towards the center of my lid. I'm using the other side of the brush. Oh, this is lovely. But I'm gonna need a wing liner as well. I need some definition to my eyes, so I'm going to do a wing liner with the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. I'm doing my liner with my eyes open so I can go over the eye folds and I think that's it. That just taking 27 seconds, but Anyways, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, maybe. Just so I can give myself a hard time. Because <laughs> this was too easy. This just took me one minute and a half for both of my eyes. Moving on. I'm patiently waiting for the day when I get sick and tired of my no foundation base and I will use foundation again. But today we're just using concealer, which is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. And uh, I'm gonna place it right here. Adding a little bit of that around my nose and yeah, that's it. I'm gonna use my finger and go into tap it in. Oh, I almost forgot that I have eyeshadow on my lower lid. Well, lipstick. So I need to go around that. And the rest of it, I'm gonna blend on my nose if I have anything left on my hand. Just to even out like the redness or discoloration that I might have on my nose. Let's set the concealer so it doesn't have the chance to crease. I'm going to use my uh, RCMA No Color Powder and uh, my Real Techniques Setter Brush. And looking up, I'm going to set the under eyes so they don't crease. And bringing the powder down into my pores area. Let me just add a little pop of that highlighter in the inner corners as well, now that I finished up with my concealer and everything and everything, just my concealer. <laughs> I don't know what everything was supposed to mean in this context. And I didn't highlight my brow bone in a while. 
Let's do a tiny bit of my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I'm really dusting off the excess from my brush. I don't want a lot of it because I am pale. Like really, really pale. I'm gonna do stamping motions so it doesn't cling to my skincare. I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm feeling like doing things in a weird order today. I wanna finish up the eyes to feel a little bit more complete, I guess. I've been applying a Lash Growth Serum for the past week and I feel like, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I feel like I already see a difference. But I need to give it at least a month to, you know, figure out if it works or not. And I'm gonna apply my Size Up Mascara from Sephora Collection. applying it on the lower lashes as well and one last thing that I want to do is line underneath my lashes here because when I curl my lashes they kind of lift from my upper waterline and the skin underneath the lashes becomes visible somehow but adding a black at the base kind of creates volume in the lashes as well I apply my blush not really off camera because I filmed it as well but I think it's up by now if it is, I'm going to link it somewhere on the screen so you can watch that video as well. I used the liquid lipstick basically, but I mixed it with my foundation and yeah. I'm gonna need some highlighter as well though because the liquid lipstick is matte and um, I wanna glow. Where's my highlighter? Oh, this one. The same one that I used on my eyes. I'm gonna take my highlighter brush which is a Sigma F03 and just pop it here on my cheekbone. And I think that's the only spot where I'm going to highlight. The rest of my skin is glowy enough. Let's move on to the lips. I'm going to do... I'm going to apply the same liquid lipstick. But first I want to line them. I'm going to use a NYX Sweet Matte Lip Liner in the shade to loose because it has that pinkish tone. Doing a little bit of overlining in the center of the lips. And on my bottom lip, I usually just follow my lip line. And I'm applying the same liquid lipstick in the center for kind of like a monochromatic look. I'm gonna blend it. I really like it. It's so cute, monochromatic. Everything looks so cohesive. The eyes, the cheeks and the lips. I love this. I love this technique. I will like take all my liquid lipsticks and do the same thing. I hope this video was useful. Let me know if you will try uh, using liquid lipstick as eyeshadow, as liquid eyeshadow. I feel like it works. It works amazing. I'm curious about how it lasts. But especially if I would add an eyeshadow primer, I'm sure this will last pretty well. I want to thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you're having a really beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye!